Hey guys, it's Teetsy here. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be discussing whether or not cheating is a big issue here in Black Ops Cold War in 2024. So about a month ago I put out an updated version for this year as to whether or not I thought Black Ops Cold War was worth it and whether I thought it was worth buying it if you didn't currently own it. And for the most part I was very positive about the game but at the same time was obviously very honest with the fact you know the game's three plus years old now. We talked a little bit about the player count, obviously the price it might cost you and the fact that we have a new Treyarch game coming out later this year. Now for the most part in the comments the responses from you guys were incredibly positive. A lot of people agreeing with me, a lot of people saying that they're still playing Cold War and of course there were some people that had different opinions which is absolutely fine right that's the whole point of making these videos. However there were three people that mentioned that cheating was an issue in Cold War and not only did they mention that the cheating was an issue they basically were saying that the game is completely unplayable and at no point in my video did I mention cheating and that is why we are here today because for me at the moment based on my experiences there's not a cheating issue within Cold War but I thought it was important today to delve into this one to kind of cover myself because I want to be a transparent creator I want to be a creator that you can trust I want to be somebody that you know, I don't want to be spreading misinformation if that makes sense and I kind of wanted to explain my side of it and why I don't think there's a problem with cheating but at the same time I think it's incredibly important to bring more attention to this um, get more of an idea as to what the community actually thinks and please do use this video as a platform to voice your opinions based on your experiences whether it's good whether it's bad because at the end of the day I just want to paint Black Ops Cold War in the best picture I can but of course you know ultimately these videos are about keeping the game alive and we need all of the information we can to make sure that that happens but also to make sure that everybody knows what they're dealing with so I think before I get into anything else I think it's worth noting that cheating is a big problem in gaming overall um, I think more so in the modern day era with PC gaming being such a big thing I think cheating has become maybe a bigger issue but without doubt cheating has been around for a long time right specifically in Call of Duty even back in the day people had JTAGs and you know modern Xboxes and stuff so I don't think it's a new thing but I think that cheating is something that we wish we could all get away from but unfortunately at the moment we live in a world where it's not possible now at the end of the day for me there's a big difference between running into cheaters and a game being completely unplayable and that's what I kind of want to delve into today so the reason that I didn't mention cheating in my Cold War video is because in the last four years of playing, I've racked up about 30 days game time across multiplayer, zombies and league play. Um, I've played over 4,000 online matches and I've only ever ran into two obvious cheaters. Now that's not to say I've not been in lobbies with other cheaters, I just mean when I say obvious, I mean when it's clear cut right because sometimes it can be quite difficult to tell. Now both of these in fairness were towards the end of last year, one was in Demolition and one was in Search and Destroy. They were both aim bots. you know it was very obvious when the, the kill cam or the best play was played at the end of the game, you could quite easily tell that they, they were aimbot and right, it's just, it's just night and day and it was obvious to see. So of course at the start of this year I started to do my research into whether or not I thought Cold War was worth it in 2024. So obviously cheating was on my mind right because I'd seen some cheaters towards the end of last year and I thought this is something that's really important that I need to keep an eye on because we may need to mention it in the video but as I played throughout this year and played across console and PC across multiple different modes I haven't ran into a single cheater this year and that's why I didn't think it was worth mentioning because at the end of the day you know if the game was completely ruined right and unplayable and I couldn't get into lobbies one I wouldn't be uploading any Cold War content but two I wouldn't be telling people that the game's worth buying right because at the end of the day if it was unplayable I wouldn't be gaining anything from lying right because everybody would be able to see that so um, I actually did a poll on my channel the other day leading up to this video and I'm just going to pull the results up of that on the screen now. Okay guys, so I've brought up the poll on the screen now that I ran over on my community page in the last day or so. Now I appreciate this is a very, very small sample size, just 15 people have taken time to vote. And to be honest, I didn't give you guys an awful lot of time to vote on this because I really wanted to get this video turned around as quickly as possible and I'm going away at the weekend so it was kind of what it was. But as you can see from these results, only one person out of these 15 people voted for Cold War is completely ruined by cheaters in 2024 and is unplayable. So again, as I said, this is a small sample size, but I think this is already kind of showing me that although there may be a cheating issue on Cold War and it may be starting to creep in a little bit more often, 
not many people have kind of come across it yet and like i said earlier in the video coming into cheaters from time to time is just part i think of modern gaming unfortunately the big thing we're trying to discuss today is whether the game is completely ruined and completely unplayable okay guys so i've brought um three comments up on the screen now that were left on the poll that i made and i just want to say a big thanks to these three people for taking time to share their opinions so interesting youtubers there at the top here just says hasn't seen any blatant cheating in cold war obviously seen some cheaters in games like black ops 3 um, and I think we all know, to be fair, that there, there is cheating problems on COD and, and there is some games that are, that are in trouble and Black Ops 3 is definitely one of them. But obviously the main thing to take from that is that we've not seen any blatant cheating in Cold War. Kip2K says here there's been a few instances where he's suspected of a cheater just based off the way they played certain situations. And I think, you know, we've all, we've all been in them moments where you're not 100% sure. Um, but says the only 100% proof he has is that from a game on raid where his brother was 100% killed by somebody using wall hacks. Um, so again, good to see there that, you know, he has seen some cheaters in Cold War. And like I said earlier in the video, we're not saying they're not there. But again, that's the only 100% proof. And SGSMH at the bottom here says there are cheaters in Search and Destroy. Now, this is an interesting comment because I have heard that Search and Destroy might be one of the game modes that's affected the most. And I personally don't play Search and Destroy. So that could be playing a part. So if you are an S&D player, do drop your thoughts on the hacking, please, down in the comment section, because I am interested to know if there are some game modes that are, you know, more affected than others. But like I say, guys, this poll and these comments is not saying that there's no cheating in Cold War. It's just we're trying to get to the bottom of is the game completely unplayable? And I think based on this poll and my experiences in these comments, I don't think it is. So I'm not saying, guys, that the people complaining about cheating in Cold War are lying, um, because at the end of the day, everybody has different experiences and you can only share your opinion on what you've seen. But I think it's very bold to say that a game is completely unplayable, right? Because I think a lot of us would know if Cold War wasn't unplayable. And, you know, for me, I haven't seen any evidence to say the game's unplayable right you know and maybe i need to jump in search and destroy and, and give that a go and, and kind of see what's happening but you know i've never been kicked from any games like i said i've played over 4,000 matches i've only ever seen two obvious kind of you know cheating problems um and it was like when there were security issues in black ops cold war right people were making a huge deal about this you, you saw a lot of it online whereas with cheating in cold war i'm not really seeing a big deal now i get the game is three and a bit years old right so there's probably not an awful lot of people that are, that are playing it especially people that want to make videos on it but um yeah i'm really interested to hear your thoughts in the comments guys the whole point of today's video is not to try and call anybody out or, or say that people are lying it's just about trying to bring more awareness to black ops cold war and as I said earlier in the video, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you can use this video as a platform in the comment section to share your opinions based on your experiences so that we can get the best idea of what Cold War is like. And if you come across something in a week's time, two weeks, three weeks, report it in the comments and hopefully people can use this video to kind of keep up to date with what's going on in Cold War from a cheating perspective. I really hope that we haven't got a cheating problem coming in. I'm hoping it's not something that's going to get worse, but I thought it was definitely worth, you know, making this video and trying to bring a little bit more attention to it. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please do hit the like button down below. As mentioned, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. If you are brand new around here and want to find your way back for more, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, guys, I hope it was a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.